all right so in the last video we discuss uh, what is integration and why do you need it and what is called api right so in this video uh, we're going to talk about uh, something called postman and we will talk about how you as a developer can go and find the standard apis and test it with postman okay so before i get into that technical things right let let me just uh, quickly explain one thing okay uh, see whenever it comes to an integration integration is basically uh, what in a nutshell your third party application is trying to call the um, the the business logic that you have written inside salesforce or your salesforce application is trying to call the business logic that is written in the third party applications correct so i mean it's basically two way one is called inbound one is called outbound so when some data is is going out from salesforce and setting into another third party system that's called outbound and the vice versa is called inbound so inbound and outbound right sometimes salesforce have to fetch the data from a system and process it sometimes salesforce has to send the data uh, a typical example right see normally uh, i told in the previous example about the erp so erp doesn't have the customer data ERP doesn't have the customer data where, where the customer data is is residing in your Salesforce CRM, correct? So ERP before it closed the deal, it asked Salesforce, "Hey Salesforce, I'm giving, I'm passing you this ID. Can you please give me the details of that customer? Can you please give me the phone number, email address of this customer?" So phone number, email of the customer is there inside Salesforce, and the ERP system is just passing the ID with that particular corresponding ID. Salesforce will now fetch the data and give it back to the ERP. So here Salesforce is finding the data from the database, passing it on the ERP system. Now let's say in the other uh, way, right? Um, the sales executive, they are using Salesforce CRM and they want to check what is the current order status? What is the current deal status of this particular customer? Now the deal status is there in ERP, correct? It's not there in Salesforce. Salesforce just have the customer data. It doesn't store the deal, deal uh, you know, status and all, right? So Salesforce CRM, I mean, it could be a button click or something. Salesforce CRM will actually pass on the ERP customer ID. Same customer ID will be passed to ERP system and will ask Salesforce that, hey, can you please tell me the uh, you know deal status of this particular customer? Get it, right? So here in this case, Salesforce is actually getting some data, is asking for some information from this ERP system. Right? It's all about sending some data out of Salesforce to a third party system or fetching the data from the third party system and putting inside Salesforce. Right? It's a two way communication that happens. Now, the, the, fundament, uh, the fundamental thing comes over here. Okay, So we understand now what is application program API, right? application programming interface. API is the gateway through which your third party application and your Salesforce is talking to each other. If the third party application, if the ERP system wants to find some data from Salesforce, Salesforce will give the API. Understand this, okay? If the ERP system wants to find the customer data from Salesforce, ERP will just send the customer ID. But how that ID will be, you know, how the ERP system will be able to pass this ID through the API that has been given by Salesforce. Now, in the in the second scenario, when the Salesforce needs to check the customer uh, deal status, Salesforce will send that ID to ERP. Now, that ERP system has to provide the API. You're getting me right? If Salesforce wants to check the customer uh, status or customer deal status from ERP, ERP has to provide the API, which will be consumed by Salesforce. Correct. So whoever is actually sending the data, right, has to provide the API, and the other system will just consume it. Right, one system is exposing the web service, web service and API, same right, or the REST API, and the other system is consuming. This is how it happens, right? So API is clear. Now the next thing that we have to uh, understand is something called request and response. What happened is, let's say Salesforce system, uh, you know, uh, it, it just wants to check the deal status, which is there in ERP. So in this case, Salesforce will hit will consume, will call the ERP's API, right? That's pretty much clear. So Salesforce is actually sending a request. This is called request. Salesforce is looking for a data from an ERP system. So Salesforce is asking, is sending a request to that API exposed by your ERP. That, hey, ERP API, I'm just providing you the <coughs> customer ID. Can you please give me the data, right? So Salesforce is sending a request. And what Salesforce is getting? A response. Understand this. Salesforce is sending the request 
in the in the form of id or whatever and the erp system is giving the response erp system it gives giving there is something called json file we will discuss what is json file after this so sales uh, the erp system is providing the details in a json file and saying hey for this against this particular customer id this is the deal status understood in the other hand if the erp system is looking for some data from salesforce so erp system will actually call salesforce web service salesforce api pass the id that salesforce is looking for so say erp system is requesting something and salesforce is giving a response so three thing is very much clear here one is what is called web service right what is called web service slash api slash rest api whatever and then what is called request and response request is the system that is you're requesting to other system that hey i need this data and the other system is giving the response right so three things gets involved here request response and the api right that's the story of of the entire uh, you know how you do the integration theoretically okay so let me create another video a uh, next video we're going to talk about how i'm going to show you basically how uh, you know uh, the the standard api right uh, which already been given by salesforce can be uh, first of all how can you find it right and how can you find and how can you give it to your third party uh, software developers right and how can you basically test it right so let's go to the next video and explain the the uh, you know standard api and how to test it with the postman see you in the next video